what's up youtube welcome back to our channel meet the teats thank you so much for clicking on this video while you're here go ahead and like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads my name is melissa i am so excited because <laughs> chris this is chris I am giving you my top five things that I learned during my first year of marriage. I want to put a little disclaimer out there. I am not a wedding or marriage expert. I am not a expert on being a wife. I am just a regular old person that is sharing with you what I learned during my first year of marriage. And I believe that they can help you during your first year or if you are a newlywed or if you're planning to get married someday. So let's get started. So number one is to pray for your husband. This is so important. Okay, to pray for your husband. We are Christians. We are a godly household. The enemy is going to try to destroy that. He's going to try to tear it down and he wants to kill, steal, and destroy. That's his whole mission. But he's going to go after the head of the household first. And that's my husband. That's Chris. So I keep him in prayer every single day. I pray for his well-being. I pray for his safety. I pray for his um, mental state. I pray for his, uh, his health. I pray for all of these things. I pray for his strength. I pray for him every single day because it is absolutely vital to pray and cover your husband in prayer. All right. So that's number one, praying for your husband. Secondly, is to discover your husband's love language. You've probably heard of love languages before, but they are five love languages. This is the way that you share love with others and the way that you best receive love from others. And I'm just gonna quickly tell you what they are. The first one is words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. So I first learned about love languages in college. And I did the survey or whatever to figure out um, what my love language was and when Chris and I got married we also took a survey and we to figure out each other's love languages. Once I figured out what his love languages were I make sure every single day that I touch on those love languages because most importantly I want him to feel loved um, every single day for me. So discovering your husband's love languages is important because that's how they feel most love. So discovering those are important. And I'll link the website down below with more information about the five love languages. So number three is to, <laughs> this is a big one, to talk with him and not at him. I had to learn this the hard way. Uh, I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. I can come off a little bossy, I'm a little demanding, uh, my tone can be a little snappy sometimes, but I didn't recognize, I didn't realize that I was talking to him in that way until he brought it up to me. So I had to quickly check myself, I had to quickly think twice before I said things or think twice before I used that tone or asked him a question because I didn't want to come off as being bossy. Chris had to sit me down and say, you know what Melissa? I already have a mother. And that's so true. Chris already has a mom. Um, so I, I do not need to fill that role. He has an excellent mom. I love his mom so much. I need to be his wife, not his mother. I have to check myself in the way that I'm talking to him and asking him things um, so I don't come off sounding bossy. So talk with him and not at him. Okay, because if you keep talking at him, eventually he's going to put up a wall and he's not going to hear anything you have to say because you're always talking at him. All right. So do not talk at him. Number four. Number four is to support his dreams and his goals. Before Chris and I got married, he had dreams. He had goals. He had um, things that he wanted to accomplish. Just because he got married to me does not mean his dreams and goals now go out the window. Like, no, he still have those dreams and goals and ambitions. So it's my job to now cultivate those goals, cultivate those dreams so that he can pursue them. 
and to support him while he does that. It's so important to not just to, to not put yourself like on the back burner now because you're married. Like, no. Still pursue your dreams, still pursue your goals, and support your husband while they pursue their dreams and goals as well. So number four is to support their dreams and their goals. Number five, last one, number five, to give him space. Now, I'm the type of person that loves being around him. My One of my love languages is quality time. So I absolutely love being around Chris. I love hanging out with him, cuddling with him, um, just hanging out, spending quality time. Chris loves spending time with me as well, but he needs his space. Uh, when we first got married in the beginning, he would um, spend a lot of time like in the bathroom why are you in the bathroom all the time like are you okay and he said yeah I'm cool I just need some some personal time some alone time so when he told me that I said wow like am I smothering you or something that you have to go into the bathroom to have quiet time or quality time so that's when I said okay I need to step back take a few steps back it's okay um, and just give him his space uh, especially when he gets off of work, he needs time to recharge, you know, just kind of let go of everything that happened at work so that he can come home and just relax a little bit before I start asking him 50 million questions. Giving him his space is really, really important. Developing those healthy boundaries is very, very important. It's something that I had to learn the hard way. So those are my top five things that I learned um, during my first year of marriage. Uh, the first one was to pray for your husband. Secondly, discover their love language. Thirdly, talk with him and not at him. Fourth one uh, was to support his dreams and his goals. And then the last one is to give him his space. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my top five things. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs, a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. I love you, have a blessed day, and thank you so much for watching. Peace.